guys this is lecture number two the information layer and we're talking about binary values and the number system first thing I want to let you know is that the base of a number signifies how many digits to be used in a number system and digits always begin with zero and continue to one less than the base if you actually use so for example in base 10 it goes from zero all the way to number nine and base eight it goes from zero to seven so is that base eight it goes up to seven so these are all the digits that you have to work with in base 8. Now let's look at base 5. Base 5 goes from 1 to 4. And the most important base we want to talk about is binary, which goes from 0 to 1. So here in CS106, the goal is to convert from base 10 from base 10 to base 2. We need to go to go back and forth. Because these are two most important bases we got to deal with in the computer science department. All right, so here's a couple things we want to look at. In base 2, for example, 0, 1, 1 is equal to 3. Or, in this case, 1, 1, 1, 0, 1 is equal to 5. And so, if you had three binary digits, these three binary di digits can create a combination of eight different things. And this is the base 10 representation. Now, what I'm about to show you now is how do you convert from one base to the next base. Now, if you, just, you can memorize them or you can just use a nice mathematical tricks to actually convert between the two. So let's take 110 and let's convert that into base 10. If we go back, we notice that 110 is actually equal to 6. So first thing we got to look at is what's the position of each digit. So the 0 is in the 0 position, the 1 is in the first position, and this 1 is in the second position. So 0 is in the 0 position, 1 is in the 1 position, and this 1 is in the second position. So you, so you take your binary number and you make it vertical. And then from there, what you want to do is you want to multiply each one of those binary numbers by base 2 raised to the position is at. So 0 is in the 0 position, so you raise it to the 0. So 1 is in the 1 position, so we raise it to 1. This second one is in the second position, so we raise it to the second power. Now once we have that set up, we just do multiplication out, and then we add, then we add in our results. In this case, you get 6, which verifies. Now let's go in the other direction. When you have 6, let's convert that now into base 2. So the first thing we'll do is you take 2, which is the base we're trying to work with, and you divide that into 6, and you get 3, and you get a remainder of 0. Now this is one, this is this 0 now is one of your binary digits. So what you want to do is take this 3 and divide it by 2. So 2 goes in, so 2 goes into 3 one time, and you get a remainder of 1. And so you keep going until this top number here becomes 0. So we go 2 into 1, 2 goes into 1 0 times, and you get a 1. Now because we have a 0 at to the top, that means we stop. So our new binary number now is made up of these digits of these remainders. But that's not in the story. So actually the binary number is 1 1 0, not 0 1 1. Because with binary, the way that's going to work is you need to flip this around to actually get the binary number that you're looking for. Alright, let's talk about addition. 1 plus 0 is equal to 1. 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 0. 1 plus 1 plus 1 is equal to 1 1. That's not 11, that's actually 1 1. And so let's use these three rules and let's do an addition problem. So it's at 1 0 1 plus 1 1 1. And let's look at what we get. 1 plus 1 is going to be what? It's going to be 1, 0. So we can't type 1, 0 down here. What you got to do is, uh, in any mathematics, what you got to do is you got to do a carry. You put the 0 here, and the 1 will go there. All right, next, we got 1 plus 0 plus 1. Let's look at this line here. And what should go here is 1 plus, look over here, that should be 1, 0 again, right? So 0 should go here, and let me, let me get this off the screen. So the 0 should go here. And the 1 should go up here. All right? Last one. We got 1 plus 1 plus 1. We look over here at our little code. That should be 1, 1. So since there's no other digits, we'll just write that down directly. And that's our new binary number. Now let's verify that this is the case. So this is 5, this is 7, and if you add these together, you get 12. So this should so this should be 12. So let's check this. Let's go in reverse and check it. And you see it checks out. So this is in the 0th position, the 1 position, 2 position, 
third position. So 0 times 2 to the 0 because in the 0 position, 0 times 2 to the 1 because in the 1 position, 1 times 2 to the 2 because in the second position, and this 1 is in the third position. And then you add that together and you get 12 as we expected. Now let's move to subtraction. Here are the rules. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 0 is 1. 1 minus 1 is 0. And if you do 0 minus 1, you got to do the borrow thing. All right, let's look at a, a, a binary subtraction. So 1 minus 0 should be what? According to this, should just be 1. So we're good there. Now in this case, 0 minus 1 falls in this borrow category. So we try to borrow from this category here, but look at this is 0, 1. So we still got to borrow again. So we got to go way over here. So we're going to borrow from this. So this is going to reduce to 0, and we're going to borrow 2. And we're borrowing 2 because we're in base 2. If we was in base 10, we'll borrow 10. So now the next thing is now it's okay, now let's borrow again to get, to get this digit we need. So this is going to reduce to 1, and we're going to put the 2 there. There you go. So now let's just do subtraction. So 2 minus 1 is what? Is 1, of course. And now in this case, 1 minus 1 is it should be 0. And then you just write the rest down as is. All right, and if you verify it, that's 57 minus 6 should equal to 51. All right, so as we close this lecture, I want to go with three definitions. When I'm talking about a single binary digit, I'm talking about a bit. When I'm talking about eight binary digits in this example here, I'm talking about a byte. When I'm talking about 32 bits, I'm talking about a word, which is really just four bytes. So just different ways of saying it. If I got a single digit, it's a bit. If I got eight digits, it's a byte. If I got 32 digits, it's a word. All right, that ends our lecture on the information layer.